company goes through each day in pain um, and their reproduction. And there's usually four of a kind and so forth. With the, with obviously the computer generated, you create the file and the computer can route them, um, you know, mechanically. So he's in essence like using both sides of the machinations. One, as his own, he's a one man art factory right. uh, himself. And then sometimes he's doing these other pieces where he's actually using more tools that would be more more contemporary, if you will, automation. <laughs> he's gone into automation. <laughs> right. And using to the, the router. So it's, it's a really interesting thing because it kind of complements what he's doing by his own hand. So does that work sell for the same price as the painted pieces? No, it doesn't. And he doesn't. And like I said, he's not selling those. So he doesn't let them go. Right now, I've seen stacks and stacks and stacks of these pieces in his studio. Um, I don't know. I assume that at some point he'll have a show of those. Um, but yeah, the, those pieces are not for sale. That's really interesting. So like he sold, I think he sold a, a few at the Shepherd Ferry show, but that was like the introduction of those pieces. He had never shown those pieces before. And um, I think that since then, he just has decided that he wants to hold back on showing and or selling things. And, and you know, here's a guy who, I, I don't know exactly, exactly why, um, but he's also, uh, by the way, though this may seem strange he's also very into nfts <laughs> oh, i've read this recently i've never had a conversation about it but he's really into nfts I, I haven't figured out exactly why but there's something about it the computer generated aspect that really uh he feeds off of has he minted anything yet or is he is he just collecting and thinking and plotting how he's going to uh enter that market i think he's plotting i think he's fascinated i just think he's fascinated by it he's you know, he's, he's an inquisitive guy, and, and uh, I, I just think there's something about it that um, makes him uh, kind of giddy. And right. I'm not sure what it is yet. Well, times you've referenced uh, your work. What, uh, what does your art look like? Well, um, I'm a photographer, and, um, you know, in this, in this, for this book, my, my work looks like, you know, documenting Steve's process. Um, so... Um, you know, I feel fortunate that he allowed me into the studio so often to to bother him and try to take his take take some photos of him in action and get like you know some I I think some really you know deep moments from him like contemplating his next step. I think it's really interesting to me. It's you know he's a I mean the reason why I made the book he's fascinating to me if that's not um, already clear, but when you're making so many pieces at one time, you know, it's like 40 chess. Um, going from one piece to the next, trying to figure out what the highlight is on one piece versus another. Um, that might be wholly different series that he's working on at one time. So he's working on 15 different series at a time. In essence. It's just incredible. So to me, what I try to capture in this particular um uh, you know, this book is capture, you know, as much of the sort of contemplation of what's his next step, you know, what's his next stroke going to be, um, what, what's the next color, um, and there's a couple of photos in there that I think really represent that well. My work is, you know, it's both documentary in this sense, I love capturing the works of artists um, in process, it's just, it, to me, I've always been interested in, in trying to trying to capture the, the thought visually, if you will, that moment, the moments where the in-between moments where like um, the artist is thinking about what is the next step? That to me is really, whatever that reason is, that particular moment is really fascinating to me. And to capture it properly is difficult. <laughs> so that's one of the things that my work is based on. But my, I've done a, a book called, I did a book called Curiosities, uh, which was my, uh, primary focus is, is street photography, mm -hmm. and and in the book is uh, 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 I consider a noir street photography. So it's fully black and white. It was released in 2019. Um, it's um, it, it it it's based 
on trying to, as paraphrasing for some other much more famous artists, uh, photographers, I'm trying to steal a moment, uh, uh, you know, with the lens. And to me, it was about capturing energy from my subjects. Um, when, and most of them didn't know that they were my subjects. It's street photography, it's candid, it's verite. So it's about sort of walking into a moment or noticing something and trying to, to capture it. And in, in this particular case, the, the, the emphasis of the, 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 the work of, of curiosity was to feel some energy. I was feeling very low. It was a low point in my life. And I was trying to find some inspiration. And the inspiration I found wasn't from me. It was from other people. And from the other, from these scenes that I found, that I was involved with, that I was able to capture, however we can put it, um, I was able to kind of dig myself out of the big hole. And so this book was a, a big deal to me in that regard. It, it, it got me out of that hole and it got me inspired to pursue photography even more um, aggressively. Um, so I do a lot of uh, street photography, some of it's noir. I do a lot of uh, documentary work, uh, a lot of art process documenting, and I do a fair amount of activism work as well, where I'm capturing the scenes of, uh, of uh, different social movements uh, in New York and, and other places. So the book, is it available now, or is it is the, the published date on the, the near horizon? The Steve Keen art book is available uh, for pre-order right now. Um, it's coming officially out in June, but you'll if you order from the Hat and Beard Press website, um, in essence, you'll get the book. You know, first first come uh, should be shipping in uh, late April, so that it is available through the Hat and Beard site right now. Okay. Do you have a website where, if if people were interested in your, your uh, noir photography and other uh, projects? Yeah, um, you can look at my work at danielephraim.com, uh, D-A-N-I-E-L-E-F-R-A-M.com. And, uh, there's a link to the Steve Keen book there as well, so I'm sure you'll see it. And, you know, for, the, for those folks that are listening, uh, amazingly, you know, we, we have sat here and, and talked for 45 minutes about uh, an artist whose website you can go to and order what, six paintings for $70. Right. So if you if you go to stevekeen.com, we, we can we can go buy our, our own artwork. How often do you buy Steve Keen artwork? Well, let me let me say that um, Steve is six months behind on orders. So if you're expecting a quick turnaround on your orders, you're going to be disappointed. But I guarantee you, if you do wait, you will be very very happy with what you receive. We can order now for Christmas. Yeah, that's true. Six pieces for seventy dollars, including shipping. You don't know what you're getting. You don't get to choose anything. He chooses. This is a big part of the process: is that you don't get to choose. He determines what the package is. But that's part of the, that's part of this whole thing is buying into the idea that you, you're buying them sight unseen. It's fascinating. This whole thing is fascinating. To me. And you're right. You could, in essence, you could have it for for, for the holidays shop for your gift for your friends, which is one of the reasons why there's so much out there. I, I would get packages, um, you know, occasionally. I've worked with them so often that I end up having a lot of pieces. I mean, I have a lot of these pieces, you know, hundreds of these pieces at this point. Um, and, you know, but I, you don't feel bad about giving them to a friend either. If you have so many, give them as a present. It's never inappropriate. <laughs> right. Um, it's always unique. Um, you know, Orion, I think in, in, the, in, the, in the book, I think he describes that he's given away all the pieces he's ever had of these or this, in this type of way. He'll go to a, like, you know, friend's cocktail party or something and bring a gift to Steve Keen. And then, you know, when I brought, when I went and photographed him with Steve at Steve's studio, I know that he bought, you know, a bunch of pieces from Steve. And, um, you know, I know he'll pass them around to his friends. Um, and then you'll run out and you'll have to get more. And so this is like, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing spreading this cheer. And 
I don't know how 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 often I've gotten packages. I mean, I've gotten so many packages from him over the years that it's hard to put that in perspective as I'm literally sitting amongst hundreds of pieces right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's hard to put it in perspective for you, but I hope that helps. Well, Dan, I I really appreciate your time today. I think it's awesome that uh, you kind of identified someone who uh, has a unique voice and vision and have gone out there and documented this and pulled the pieces together. Um, you know, I was able to see uh, a digital copy of, of the book and it's beautiful. I mean, you know, your photography, uh, Steve's work, um, the, the thoughtful commentary from, from Shepard and like we discussed the, the interview with, uh, with Ryan, I hope that a lot of people uh, find this and that it, uh, it kind of blo- blooms and blossoms for you uh, because it's a great looking piece of work. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you know, again, it's all is due to Steve inspiring me. And, uh, you know, he, I'd like to be an advocate for, for artists. And um, that's what I've done most of, most of my career. And uh, I can't think of a more worthy um, project than this one. He deserves it. So um, any accolades that come for this is due to him. So thanks for having me on. Really yeah. good. That's all the time we have for this week. You've been listening to Art Sense. You can find the show on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. If you've enjoyed this podcast, be sure to subscribe. And while you're there, please rate the show and leave a quick review. Your feedback is the key to other folks finding us. And if you'd like to see images related to the conversation, read the transcript, and find other bonus features, you can go to cambia.art and click on the podcast tab. If you'd like to reach out to me, you can email me at craig at cambia.art. Thanks for listening.